shaking hands and doing a lag. Uh, Pete, I haven't actually, uh, I haven't had anybody tell me that they feel like it's slow. And it doesn't really feel uh, too muggy in here either. They're, they got some, uh, some good ventilation and AC going on in here. So it feels pretty good. I've actually had a couple people talking about the TV table feeling like the rails are a little bit more springy than they anticipated. So most of the positions have actually been over-rolled instead of under-rolled. Hey, Nita, how's it going? Welcome into the broadcast. Welcome all the newcomers to the live stream. If you haven't already followed us, I'm Josh Setterfield from the Billiard Sports Network. You can go ahead and drop us a follow on Facebook. We are uh, multi-streaming right now. We're live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, so you can watch on whatever your favorite platform is. And now is the time to be tuning in. You are watching somebody who is on an absolute massive hot streak right now. Kachi has been playing and beating everybody. Welcome, Mr. Moore. So he doesn't have a shot on the one ball here, but the the one and the cue ball are equal distances from the long rail. So if he wanted to kick at this ball, it's a pretty good option there. Looks like he's going to be pushing out. It's going to leave Randy a tough shot here. Both of these players have headphones in right now. Be kind of interesting to interested to know what their what their jam mix is when they're throwing down on on the table. Randy Davis says, "How dare you leave me that ball? You let me see that ball." Shame on you. Get comfortable in your seat, Mr. Kachi. See if he decides to go down to the head, head rail or if he decides to... Yeah, he's going to be going around. Yeah, that seemed a little bit dangerous there because had he not hit the eight ball, he would have ended up on the wrong side of that five. I think he caught a little bit more left English on that than he meant to. That or he just saw something that I wasn't aware of. Hey, Eviscerated, thanks for following on Twitch. Appreciate you, brother. Make sure you have those notifications turned on, whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook. That way you guys don't miss out on any of the action. Bethany Sykes, welcome in. Ashley Incel, welcome. How's it going, baby? For everyone who doesn't know, Ashley Incel is the wifey. And I was starting to get a little nervous that that nine ball was not going to go down. Uh, Randy makes an absolutely filthy out right there. Um, well, I should say it was a filthy one ball. Kachi uh, played the push out, dared him to take the long shot. Davis said, no, I don't have a problem with that. Takes a long extreme cut on the one and gets out from there. That was... Uh, a brave shot that paid big dividends to Davis. Yeah, Pete, I, uh, I prefer Twitch as well. Twitch is much, much better of a streaming platform. 
better encoding, less server cause lag, better analytics for the stream, the whole shebang. Problem is, is most of the people who are in the billiard world are very unfamiliar with what um, Twitch is. <laughs> so obviously we still have to multi-stream here, otherwise we'd be sitting here with five people watching. We owe it to these players. He's got such a unique breaking bridge stance. Like he lays his entire arm on the table. Got a good spread, but uh, no love. No ball falls down. And Kachi has a shot on the one that is much, much easier than the one that Randy came to the table with. However, shape on the two is going to be interesting. So let's see if he... Uh, Hits this one ball with, drags the cue ball over to the right long rail and then back underneath the three to be able to shoot the two in the side or up table. Let's see how he decides to play this here. Uh, Nate, we're going to be streaming for the entirety of the event, so it's really just going to boil down to whenever the tournament directors um, decide. That was a smart play there. Just went ahead and went for the safe instead of trying to do something wild. That was a very smart play and pretty well executed. Um, took out a lot of options by getting him that close to the nine ball. He's not frozen to the nine, but he did lose a couple options. But, uh, yeah, Nate, we're going to be... We're going to be streaming until the event stops. So, uh, Kachi is got a pretty decent position here to be able to do something, do something damaging. But oh, they got the they got the big bracket out on the table over there now. So this two ball is still going to be pretty interesting. I mean. It looks like he's mapping out how he wants to get below the two ball here. So he got below the two perfectly here. You can see the three ball right there towards the middle of the table, so we shouldn't have any problem. Cut that ball in the corner. The side pocket was obviously much closer, but the reward for going for the corner was perfect position on the three that leads to position on the floor on the four. So any amateur players that are tuning in, um, that's something you're going to notice that is a massive part of these top level players. As they're not, they're not going to take what shot is the easiest to make. They're going to take the shot that leads them to the next ball with the least amount of manufacturing possible. Like, you don't want to have to use spin on the ball. Every time you add spin on the ball, it's a variable that you have to control. So if you can pick a different shot that requires less English, even though it might be a little bit more difficult of an angle, when, when you're at this level, it's, it's not really as difficult as it might seem.
Kachi's going to get out there. Needed to get out. Now it's 1-1, and he's breaking. So he needed to get out there. Yo, Carly, what's up, man? Appreciate everybody tuning in. We got some A-plus game going on right now, man. Not A-plus rating. Just A-plus because it's good. We got Kachi who's on absolute fire. Trying to take down everybody. Already is taking down everybody. What am I saying? Oh, the cue ball finds the side pocket. And he's just staring at the table. So Randy's going to have a little bit of work to do here. Uh, every ball has a pocket. That five ball is a little awkward. What's going on, Uncle Jimmy? Said I'm hearing banjos. <laughs> Robert, there might be some banjos going on in the background. I got a headset on, so I can't really hear what's going on around me too much. But they've had live bands on and off and all kinds of good stuff. It's been, <laughs> been all kinds of stuff. All right, so let's see... Uh Got an, enough of an angle to come on the other side of the three ball here. On the left side, just like this. Enough room to get the three into the same pocket he just shot the two into. So he's in, he's in a, a unique situation here. He's having to use the bridge, and he needs to get a good stroke on this ball to get back for the five. And he does not get it. So now he's in a unique. So now he's in a unique spot here. He has to try to decide how he wants to attack this ball. Oh, he can actually see that ball. He almost got fortunate there, had the nine as a blocker. Five just barely ran out of steam. Just barely ran out of steam. He's going to take the lead in this match. Up one rack. Randy's a... Uh Randy's going to be feeling that just a little bit. What's the score of the other match? Uh, what I'm looking at right now is three to four on Beretta's favor. So the gal who just broke right there has got three. She gets the ball down on the break, has the eyeballs on the one. I wish I knew who Jennifer was playing. I just don't know this gal's name. I haven't seen her shoot before. So I'm not sure. I'm going to see if I can't find that out for us. Meantime, Randy is about to be breaking.
Almost lost the cue. That rock almost went down in the drink. It almost went down. Stays up. And the two ball. I don't know if that two ball is going to go by the, by the four there. I just don't know if it's going to. Eugenia. Tina, thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So he, uh, yeah, Mark, uh, that cue ball almost fell down. What's going on, Steve Smith? Welcome back. He, uh, he created a lot of distance and made this ball very difficult, but it just barely overhit it. Just barely overhit it. Hey, Nancy, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Figured uh, you and Don might enjoy watching some world-class pool coming at you live. Look at that. Look at that cue ball. That, oh, my. That, that cue ball even rolled off a little bit and ro rolled into the rail just a smidge and still... Uh, found a pocket. Same pocket it almost went in earlier. So he was just uh, destined to, to scratch in that pocket, some people would say. <laughs> Tina, I will, uh, I will keep you updated on the match between Eugenia and Beretta. Kachi just gets a little bump on the th on the three ball here. Oh, well, Steve, I'm just enjoying myself out here. Watching these players is awesome. Oh, he overrolled that ball. Yeah, that was uh, pretty uncharacteristic there. He had a very big window to play for. That ball gets overrolled by a lot. So that's where your mental game is going to uh, show up or pack its bags and go home. Obviously, Kachi has, has played a lot of big matches, made mistakes in big matches, and, and rebounded from it. Totally fine. But that's the second time he's missed a ball completely and gave up ball in hand to Randy. Yo, Steve, you should have been here, man. Randy wastes no time. These balls are in a pretty decent layout here. Five ball to the six in the right corner or the right side pocket, which will lead you up table for the seven. Depending on what angle he leaves himself on the six, he can go either side of the seven because it's literally on the 50 yard line there. on the seven ball pretty nicely. head 
hang his head down and try to shrug that one off. That is a very, very costly mistake to be making at this point. That's the difference between a tied set or being down two racks in an alternating break format. That is, that can be massive. I don't want to jump the gun on anything, but that could dictate the outcome of the whole match. Came close to that corner pocket. He flirted with it a little bit. Aaron says, nice lead on the seven. That's going to put him up two racks. That's two unforced errors by Randy that he should have been getting out, and he didn't, and that is the two rack deficit that you guys are seeing. Well, that's got to be brutal. That's got to be brutal. If you guys are enjoying the live stream, make sure you're following along on our social media. We have a lot of information in the descriptions on uh, Facebook and YouTube. There's donation and subscription links. If you guys are liking what you're seeing and you want to give us a tip, then you can. Just click that link. It will take you to uh, a Streamlabs page where you can designate how much you would like to donate to our cause. We take donations because we are keeping the live streams free. We don't want to charge anybody pay-per-view to be able to watch this world-class play. We just feel like uh, by keeping our streams free, we're doing everything that we can to grow and expand the sport. We know that uh, the people who are just getting into it, we want them to be able to have access to it. We want people who are amateurs who are interested in the game to have exposure to this high-level play without having to you know, wait for just the big major events that happen throughout the year. Or, uh, or happen to pay pay-per-view for all the, you know, they're still big, but they're not, oh my. That was a, <laughs> Steve, no, uh, it's one on the spot. No nine on the spot for this event. The only thing about the rack is that the two ball goes in the back and that's it. But yeah, we're trying to keep everything free, you know, for people, whether you're a, pool junkie or just a casual player we want people to be exposed to the sport the whole point of this is to gain exposure and put more eyeballs on it and get more people interested in it because those of us who play and enjoy the sport understand and know how fun it is and we also know what is possible and these players who are coming into the sport newer might not so anyways, that's why we decided to keep the stream free. So if you'd like to uh, donate and chip into the cause, you can. All donations go 100% towards upgrading our equipment, travel expenses, all that type of stuff. Obviously, there's a lot that goes into driving six hours away and setting up a whole bunch of equipment to bring the live stream. So this subscriptions is actually kind of unique. If you guys decide to subscribe, basically you will be subscribing to make a monthly contribution. You can designate how much you want it to be, 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever. And that would just be a reoccurring thing. And then obviously nothing would even be possible right now without our sponsors. We wouldn't even, I wouldn't say we wouldn't exist, but this live stream right now definitely would not exist without the live streams. Uh, I wasn't following what was going on there. So Randy's going to be left with a tough shot here. Most likely going to have to use the bridge if he wants to do this.
And there's a bridge coming out. There's a good shot there. Let's see where the cue ball ends up. Uh, unfortunately, no love. However, the seven ball could find its way to the corner. is the four ball completely that's no good uh, looks like the only good option well I don't know the four ball might go on the side but because of the five ball getting touched he's going to have to take the 4-8 combo here I think he could have just shot it straight in the side before that five ball got nudged so he shoots the combo with uh, the right speed so got a decent angle to be able to come around for the five on the side. And it's looking like Hachi's probably going to be going up here. Thank you. Yeah, you guys probably hear the uh, score that just happened in the hockey game there. Getting these scores added to the ticker at the top. You guys are following along with any of your favorite players. Or just want to see how the matches are unfolding without clicking away from the stream, you can. They're going along right up there in the. Appreciate everybody who is uh, tuning in to the broadcast. If you are enjoying what you see, make sure you follow us on the social media. We're live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube all simultaneously today. Got just a couple more scores to add into the ticker at the top here. Looks like Brian Dietzenbach got beat by Deya, one to seven. Tough opponent there. Rob Metz is going to take Kumar, seven to five.
All right, so Gakachi at the table. Shot on the one ball. He has a pretty decent window between the nine and the three ball to take position for the two. Ooh, a little close to the five ball here, but he's okay. Take this three in the uh, top left corner here, be able to slide over or go to the long rail. Yeah, I like that better. It's easier to get position for the five. So he's staying pretty, pretty well in line now. Looks like his pace is speeding up a little bit. Finding that momentum. Uh, eviscerated on Twitch. I'm not sure how long things are going to be going. Because it's really up to the uh, to the tournament directors. It's up to On the Hill Productions as to when everything's going to be over for the day. He runs this rack down nice and pretty down to the nine ball. He's in a pretty good position here. He's going to take a 5-1 lead over Randy Davis. And Randy came out the gate so strong in this set, too. Like, he came out firing on all cylinders. Like, Kachi played a, a, a daredevil push out. You know, not one of those like, oh, it's safe, but I dare you to take it. And Randy took it, and he got out. And then he should have been out of... Rack number two and rack number three. Uh, Nate, we we are not prime, or we are not um, affiliated on Twitch, so we don't have the uh, the subscription for Amazon. Plus, I'm gonna be real honest. Um, when people do that, like Twitch takes half of all those subscriptions, whether they're paid or free. Fifty percent of that goes back to Twitch, and you know what's crazy about that is. Twitch and Amazon are the same. Like, Amazon bought Twitch. So you're paying for Amazon Prime, so you're already sending money to, you know, Twitch and Amazon. And then when you subscribe, only 50% of that actually goes to the streamer. So you're paying them again a second time. So I don't know if, uh, even if they offer us the affiliation, I don't know if we're actually going to accept it when that time comes. Wonder how Jake Lawson's playing in his match. That was a good attempted kick at that. Unfortunately, it's going to line up pretty nicely for Kachi here. Say you don't want to be jacked up over that five stretch, not like this. Like that he like one strokes the ball center pocket. It's that pace I was talking about. He's picking it up all right. Thank you. 
just like that. Kachi's on the hill. I'm not gonna lie, if I'm if I'm Randy right now, it's gonna be pretty tough. Alternating break format. Looks like Jake and uh, Nilbert's match might be ending up. It looks like Jake's packing up his cues. We'll see what the score gets reported back as. All right, we have Randy to break here. Tina, I don't know if you're still in here keeping tabs on Eugenia and Beretta. But the score is four to five Beretta. Eugenia's only down one rack. Randy gets the five ball down and he's gonna have shape on the one unless that two ball, there we go. Just enough, just enough clearance. talking about he uh, has got to be feeling some type of way about being down six to one in alternating break format well you just saw the demonstration of the mental aspect of being in the position that he's in and how hard it can be to stay in a good spot oh my gosh he just almost destroyed his opportunity there Oh wow, that was beautiful. In the zone. Yeah, he's free willing just a little bit too much here. He's overrolled a couple positions. And he's seeing how he needs to get back to the six ball here. That was a beautiful shot there. Look at that stroke. Man, he <laughs> finished that set with some with some style. There you guys have it.